Hi. I was just listening to a story that I've recorded on Mantralingua's pen pal. Now, lots of children need extra repetition, especially those learning EAL. And, the sp and it's wonderful that you can put a story onto this thing and the children can listen to it many, many times and if you use headphones they won't disturb the rest of the class. So let me show you how I've used uh, Mandralingua's Pen Pal. I'm just going to interrupt myself a moment and show you a photograph of the Pen Pal so you can see it clearly. It's got three buttons. The top button is the on and off switch. The middle button is the mode button. I'll talk about that later, and the bottom button is the microphone. So now let's go back and listen to me talking about it. So let me show you how I use the pen pal to record my stories. Um, well, the first thing you do, of course, is um, switch it on, which is the top of those three buttons I've just shown you. And it takes a little while to click in, so we'll wait for it and see what happens. Welcome to pen pal. Touch the start arrow to continue. Ah, uh, we're not going to start touch the start arrow because that's on the Mantra Lingua books and if you press on the start arrow then it will read the book to you if you've bought the right things. No, we want to record our own so I'm going to press the middle button which is the mode button. Recording mode. Okay, brilliant. Now come closer and look at my table and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, now you can get these stickers from Mantra Lingua and I've just stuck on a piece of card so that you can see it. And then you hold down the microphone button at the bottom, holding it down, and then still holding it, and you touch one of the magic squares. And it makes that little beep, at which point you let go of the microphone, and then you can talk. So I'm now recording. And when you finish recording, you just press the microphone again. It didn't make a noise that time, let's hope it worked. And then, any time you are ready, it just put it on. So there you are, I've recorded onto here. So, when we want to record a story, we simply get some of their stickers and put it on the story. So, here's one of my stories. And as you can see, I've put some red circles around their magic stickers uh, so that you can see them easily. So I'm holding down the microphone, then I'm going to go and do it. When I lived in Afghanistan, my school was in a big tent. One day, a boy was naughty. He didn't do his homework. The teacher said, go outside. So in order to listen to it, all we do is touch the magic button. When I lived in Afghanistan, my school was in a big tent. And there we are, I just switched it off. So that's wonderful, but wouldn't it be even better if the children could hear it in their first language. Just fantastic. So let's try, I've got a second button here, see what happens. Oops. Kiedy żyłem w Afganistanie, moja szkoła była w wielkim namiocie. Pewnego dnia chłopiec był niegrzeczny, nie odrobił pracy domowej. Nauczyciel wyprowadził... There we are, we can listen to it in Polish if we happen to have a Polish next door neighbor who will record it for us. But of course, you might have some older brothers and sisters or a mother or father who could record the stories for you and then the children could hear it in their first language and that would be fantastic because that would provide comprehensible input that would mean the children could understand before they actually see the story and therefore you know they see it in english and, and therefore they'll learn the english so much more quickly so do use this it's fantastic in first language and it's fantastic in english just a brilliant resource. I do recommend the Pen Pal. But I can't leave these stories without showing you one more thing. So come to my table and have a look. Now, each of these stories that have been written by real children comes with a sequencing activity. Looks like this, and you cut it up into strips and children sequence it. But I've got another idea using the Pen Pal. So what I've got on here is that story all jumbled up, but this time you have to listen to it to find out what, uh, which order the things go in. Let's see if we can do a little bit of it. Here we are. His homework. The teacher said, go outside. The boy went outside. He moved the ropes of the tent. 
Ah, well, we know that one is the second one, don't we? Because we've heard a bit of the story. So... And his head started to bleed. The naughty boy laughed, and he ran away. Oh, I bet that's the last one. Let's put that at the bottom. And we'll just look at one more. Um, let's look at this one. The Naughty Boy by Najib. Right, there we are. So we know that's the first one. And you'll notice I've got these letters on here. They don't help you because you don't know what the word is. But in fact, it's Kofi, spelt for some reason with a W, which is a Ghanaian name, and it's the name given to all boys who are born on a Friday, as well as some other names. Of course, I use that name to check whether children have understood the story and got it in the correct order. But because they don't know the name, it doesn't help them at all. We've now got the whole story. When I lived in Afghanistan, my school was in a big tent. Oh yes, we know that bit, don't we? His homework. That's the right. teacher said, go outside, okay. and he moved the poles of the tent. The tent fell down, and his head started to bleed. The <sighs> naughty boy left, and he ran away. So, just a quick little snippets of that particular story, but what a lovely listening activity that creates. So, I hope you enjoyed that quick little look at how you might use the pen pal with stories. And um, I do really recommend it.